An Azerbaijani soldier kicks the Armenian flag out of the way in freshly conquered territory in Nagorno-Karabakh and hoists the flag of Azerbaijan. In the capital, Baku, the crowds go wild. This is a big win for Azerbaijan, the first village the army says it's captured in a region the country claims is theirs. Nagorno-Karabakh, a cause as sacred for them as it is for Armenia. The region's ethnic Armenian population are being forced to flee, leaving their men on the front lines. Roxana Hachaturian's 20-year-old son was called up three months ago, just in time for the worst fighting between the two sides in 26 years. He always tries to give me hope that everything will be all right. From his side, he needs time to feel OK, but I don't really know how he is doing. I just need a peaceful life, only peace and nothing else. But peace looks very far away. Tit for tat shelling today in the Karabakh city of Stepanakert and the Azerbaijani city of Ganja. Barking. And on the front lines, it is a mix of old school trench warfare and modern drone technology, the ultimate reconnaissance and targeting tool, especially in mountainous terrain. <laughs> There are few roads out of Nagorno-Karabakh for the displaced to travel, and they are targets too. This bridge was hit with a quasi-ballistic missile, but it's still passable. The nearby Armenian town of Goris has become a major stopping point for the displaced and for the war wounded. Both sides are being very cagey about their casualty numbers, but we saw a large number of ambulances pass us on the road out of Nagorno-Karabakh. There are hospitals there, but it would seem that they are at capacity because a lot of the wounded are being brought here to the hospital in Goris and some of them on to the capital Yerevan. The church in Goris bears the scars of the last war, fought in the early 1990s at a cost of at least 20,000 lives. 54-year-old Reg Dalakian has volunteered to fight again. I'm not afraid at all. Previously I was in the war in the 90s and now I'm not afraid to go back to the front line. The weapons system's very different now from then. The hopes and prayers of those fighting still very much the same. Dynamagne Sky News, Goris, Armenia.